Assalamu alaikum. Is it true that the person who dies on Friday will not have to face the hardships of the grave? There is a hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, that the one who dies on Friday, on the day of Friday or on the night of Friday, he will be prevented from the punishment of the grave. As far as this hadith is concerned, the scholars they have disputed regarding its authenticity. According to Imam Hafiz bin Hajar al-Thqalani, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on him, and other muhaddithin, they say that this hadith it is a da'if. They say that this hadith it is a da'if hadith. And all the other ahadith that talk about this, that the person who dies on the day of Friday or on the night of Friday, he will be saved or he will be prevented from the punishment of the grave. All of these ahadiths, they are da'if ahadiths. There is a weakness in the chain of narrators. And even according to Shaykh Abdul Aziz bin Baz, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on him, when he was asked regarding this hadith, that if a person dies on the day of Friday or on the night of Friday, he will be prevented from the punishment of the grave. So Shaykh Abdul Aziz bin Baz, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on him, he said that all these ahadiths regarding this, they are weak ahadith. And according to Shaykh Muhammad bin Salih al-Uthaymin, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on him, when he was asked, Regarding dying on Friday, it is, is it considered as husn al khatima? That is it considered as a good ending? So Sheikh Muhammad bin Salih al-Thaymeen, he said that it is not considered as husn al khatima. that is a good ending. So irrespective whether a person dies on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, on Monday, it is all the same. And this is the opinion of Sheikh Muhammad bin Salih al-Uthaymeen, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on him. So according to Imam Hafid bin Hajar al-Thqalani and other muhaddithin and even according to the contemporary scholar Shaykh Abdul Aziz bin Baz, their opinion is that all these ahadiths, they are da'if ahadiths. Whereas according to Shaykh Nasruddin al-Bani, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on him, he says that if you collaborate all these ahadith, they reach to the category of Hassan. But as I've said earlier, the first opinion, which is the opinion of the majority of the muhaddithin, they say that all these ahadiths, they are da'if ahadiths, they are weak chain, they are weak ahadiths, and there is a weakness in the chain of narrators. But even if we agree that this hadith, it is sahih, so it does not include the disbelievers. It does not include those people who died in the state of shirk, that is disbelief. It only includes the believers. Whereas those people who died in the state of disbelief, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can punish them in the grave. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will in fact, in fact the disbelievers, their abode, it will be hell wherein they will abide forever. So in no way does this hadith include the disbelievers. It only includes the believers, those who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the same time, we know that there are various virtues and benefits of this blessed day of Friday. On this day, Adam, peace be upon him, was created. On this day, the day of judgment, it will occur. And this day, it is called as the weekly Eid. There are various benefits of this day of Friday. But as far as this particular virtue of dying on the day of Friday or on the night of Friday, and the person who dies on the night of Friday, or on the day of Friday, he will be prevented or he will be safe on the punishment of the grave. The majority of the muhaddithin, inclu including Imam Hafid bin Hajar al-Thqalani, they say that these ahadiths, they are da'if ahadiths, they are weak chain of narrators. And the best thing for a believer is always to be steadfast on the deen. To be a good practicing Muslim, stick to the glorious Quran, stick to the authentic ahadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him. If we stick to the glorious Quran and the authentic ahadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, inshallah, we will enter paradise. And whichever day we die upon, inshallah, we will enter paradise. We should 
stick to the glorious Quran and authentic teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessings be upon him. This should be our main focus. If this is our main focus, irrespective whichever day we die on, inshallah we will enter paradise and inshallah we will be saved from the punishment of the hellfire.